Hey everybody, Eric from Teachers Talking Tech here, and I'm going to do a quick run through of the green screen app by Do Inc. I'm not going to get into everything, but mainly just how to get started. I can remember when I first started with this app, uh, it was confusing because it started right with the tutorial and I didn't know where to go, so I'm going to try to get you going with this app. By the way, we talk more about this in our podcast. You can search for it on Podomatic, Teachers Talking Tech, or in the iTunes uh, podcast store. All right, so. First thing I would say is if you want to get out of this tutorial, you just tap this back button and it'll take you to all your projects, of which you might not have any yet if you haven't used the app. So really all you need to know here is your projects, if you click on this little uh, export button, it allows you to delete, duplicate, or export your projects right from here. To start a new project, just click on the plus button, hit create a new project. Now here's the layout here. You have an X button. This gets rid of all images down here. Be wary with that, we'll get to that later. You have an undo and a redo. You have a preview, so if you have a video, you can watch what it looks like. You have the save button. You have to pick whether you are saving a video or an image. And then you have a color wheel here. This is uh, helpful if you're using maybe a blue screen, a red screen, something like that. You can change uh, the background. Green just works best. You have a crop uh, feature, so if you wanna crop a picture you have in here, you can do that. And then finally you have a mask, and I'll show you the mask in just a minute. Now you can think of these layers the same way you would layer in a PowerPoint presentation or something like that. The bottom layer is your back, and then it moves forward and forward again. Okay, so let's just run through a sample here. This will give you more ideas. So if we hit the plus button down here, this is where we'd add our background. So what I did is I found an image of the yellow brick road. Okay, and you can see I'm going to put Dorothy on the yellow brick road. So I click on my image and hit use. Now down here, and this is important, whatever you have selected down here, see how it's in red? That means you can make changes to that picture. So for example, I can make it bigger, smaller, I can move it around. In this example, I want to make it a little bit bigger so it takes up the whole screen, okay? Maybe I want to pull it down a little bit too to get some of those trees. There we go. Okay, let's add our green screen image. Now, adding a video is the exact same. It doesn't really matter. You would just hit Add Video. So here's my image here. I hit Use, and there she is. Okay? You can see now she's highlighted, and so now I can make her smaller. I can make her fly if it was a Superman uh, image or something like that. Okay? But I'm just going to put her right there. Okay, so let's go to the next step, which is what if you have uh, issues with your image? So right here, you can see I have some shadowing going on with that image. This happens sometimes. So this is where your masks, uh, mask comes in. Here's my mask right here. It will take this image and let me make changes to it. So the problem I had down here is a shadow. So now I can click on this eraser, and I can just kind of erase that shadow away. The mask is also really helpful if you would like to... You know, maybe your kids are making something where the person is underwater or something else. Let me just show you that. Aha, I hit it, and you can see that part I erased, it took care of it. Here's where I use this a lot. Let's add another image, okay, to the front. All right, whoopsie. Try that again. Use, and there I am. Now, you can see that image is just layered on top of the other one. All right. Now, let's say that this uh, had a problem with it, or maybe the person's standing in water, or maybe I want to put one head on somebody else's body. This is where this mask comes in really handy. You see it's highlighted right here. I hit mask, and I could actually erase everything. No need to erase the green screen part because that's already erased for you, but I can come right up here, and I could just leave my head... There we go. My kids love doing this because they can put their head on somebody else's body. And they do this like uh, with a book cover or something like that to make put themselves into an image. So I hit done and there I go. All right, so you can see what the mask does. It actually, it adds that green screen effect to anything you want. So now I can actually go like this and I can put my head over hers. And that's creepy, I don't like that at all. So I'm just gonna go up here. Now, I wanna get rid of this now. Okay, so I just tap on this again. You can see it brings up some tools down here. Okay, 
the sound button is useful if you have a video and you want to add uh, or take away the sound or turn up the sound. Cut, copy, those are really useful um, if you're making a video. And then finally what I want is delete. Okay, this X up here, that deletes everything. So you don't want to use that unless you have to. So I'm going to hit delete, and there it goes. All right, so now I have my image. I want to save it. It is an image, not a video. So I switch this over to image, and then I can hit save. Okay, it takes you to this screen. You can export right from here to iMovie or to Seesaw or something else you might be using, and you can save the image. Or just hit the done button and it will bring up similar options right here. So I'm gonna save it to my camera roll and now it's been saved, I'm all set. Okay, so let's get out of this and let's say, well, what if I wanted to do a video? So I'm gonna hit done and hit that back button right up here. If you're doing a video, it's the same thing. I create a new project. Now I don't have any videos on here, but I'll show you how it works. It, it's similar to adding uh, an image. So I add my background. Okay, and a background can be a moving video. Usually it's not, usually it's a video or an image though. So for this one, I'm gonna add a news desk. There we go. Okay, everything looks fine. I don't need to change anything. And now, well actually, you know what I do? I think I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. There we go, that way I can really see the people's faces. And now I can add a video. Okay, if I was gonna add a video, I just tap on video. It takes me to the same uh, camera roll and you just add it. Like I said, I don't have any, so I'm gonna add an image, but it's the same procedure, okay? Even if it's a video, you can still make the person smaller. All those things are still the same. Here's the thing. Let's say that I wanted to put one person right here and I wanted to add another person in this chair over here. I could either record the video of them right here next to each other on the same green screen, or I could do it separately, okay? Now, one other thing, I don't remember if I mentioned this, make sure you take all pictures and video outside of this app. Don't try to add with the camera inside this app. It works, it's just very confusing in my mind. I think it's so much easier to take all your video and uh, pictures before you ever even open this app. But let's just say that I'm not gonna add anything else here. I have both of my um, people all right in this same screen, okay? so. Here I go, I'm gonna add this image. There we go. Okay, now you can use the mask to erase them so they look like they're sitting behind this desk and that works just fine. Um, but one thing I would say is if they move, uh, it'll ruin your mask a little bit. So make sure they're sitting down. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna click on the mask. I'm gonna get rid of the lower part of my body there. Hit oh, done and there we go. So now, I can close those tools and then I can move myself around again. By the way, I close those tools by tapping on my image down there again. Now I can take myself and I can size it so it's perfect right in there and there we go. One other thing you need to know with the video, if you wanted to do editing within this program, let's say I wanted to end one video and start a new one, I would recommend putting all your green screen videos into iMovie and editing there. But if you don't have that, you tap right down here. And this is where you can use uh, trim, cut, and copy, okay? So you have this little timeline right there. I can move along. Okay, let's say I wanted my video to end right there. I hit trim, and it trims the video right to there. You can also drag the video using that little red and white square to fine tune it if you'd like. Okay, and you can see it moves the timeline right up here. If I tap down here, I could end this here if I wanted to. Okay, so that's the basic way you can edit. Now, if I wanted to, I can add another green screen starting right there. So this could be a picture or a video. I could add her right there, and you can see it switch from one to the next, and now I can edit her the same way that I did the last one. All right, and it just gives you a little bit of editing tools there. All right, and there she goes. So now when it hit that spot, it would move from my image to her image, okay? And then I would still want this background image 
rolling along the whole time. All right, so I'm ready to save. I just save it as a video. It saves it to my camera roll. It's the exact same as before, okay? To start with, what I would recommend is just trying an image, get the hang of the controls, the tools, and save an image, then try out your video. Uh, you will get it. It just takes a little bit of time and a little understanding of this layout. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have more questions, just shoot me an email at teacherstalkingtech at gmail or write in the comments below and I'll get back to you.